Here are 10 things you need to know about Lake Las Vegas. Number one, an active community. When I say Lake Las Vegas has an active community, it's beyond the golf and the tennis and the sports club. It's the actual community of people who live there. For a long time, Lake Las Vegas had a lot of second and third homes, but now as the population has grown, more new homes are being built. The area has expanded and with all the people relocating to our fabulous city, Lake Las Vegas has also grown. I moved a wonderful couple to Lake Las Vegas about two years ago. It was during the pandemic, so things were a little hectic as they were everywhere. But as that community grew, they started to make more and more friends. And I have heard from this person that Lake Las Vegas is a very tight knit circle and that everybody kind of bands together, checks out the village, goes to the club, has dinner at the country club, golfs together, plays tennis, plays poker. It just become this really cool community for them. So if you're looking to relocate to Las Vegas and you wanna be in a community where you can easily make friends, Lake Las Vegas could be the perfect spot for you. Number two, two golf courses. As someone who loves to golf, having two golf courses readily available for me is a dream. Lake Las Vegas has two championship golf courses, the South Shore Country Club and Reflection Bay. Both of these golf courses have stunning views of the lake and even some city views. They were both designed by Jack Nicklaus and are very famous in the community. Another fun fact about Lake Las Vegas, it's golf cart permissible, meaning you can get a golf cart and drive it all around the community and never have to get in your car. South Shore Country Club also offers tennis and pickleball and they have a gorgeous clubhouse with delicious dinners. South Shore Country Club also has access to a private beach, which many of the residents in the community enjoy. With two golf courses, it really makes for a great community. Number three, scenic beauty. When you're driving to Lake Las Vegas, you kind of go through a rougher part of town. But once you get into the community, it is just one of those places that makes you go, it is so relaxing. Watching the sunset and the sunrise, seeing the gorgeous lake view with the sun just sparkling, and also seeing the gorgeous mountains that surround Lake Las Vegas, it's truly a special place. The lake itself is 320 acres and it's a man-made lake, meaning it's not going anywhere. Around the community, you have a Mediterranean feel with two hotels and a gorgeous village. Many locals who don't live in Lake Las Vegas come to Lake Las Vegas on the weekends to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It truly is a breathtaking place. And whenever I bring clients there, they always look at me and tell me, wow, this place is magical. It really is a gem in the desert. Number four, outdoor activities. With the lake being the centerpiece of Lake Las Vegas, you can imagine there's a lot of water sports. But beyond that, there's also hiking and biking and lots of trails to walk around. One of my favorite things to do on the lake is paddleboard. It is so much fun to get on your stand-up paddleboard and paddle that lake. Kayaking is very popular. You'll see it in the morning as the sun is rising. You'll see a group of people go out. It is so cool and something I really enjoy seeing. If you're someone who's trying to get your cardio in and you wanna be outdoors, you can do something called pedal biking and it's offered at Lake Las Vegas and something you'll see people doing to get those steps and burn those calories. Something unique about Lake Las Vegas is you cannot have a gas driven boat. It has to be electric but it keeps it nice and quiet on that lake. And something that a lot of people enjoy doing is renting a boat for the day and taking it out. Another fun thing you can do is they have yacht cruises at night. You can have dinner on the lake and sometimes they even have fireworks. What's really unique about Lake Las Vegas is some of the communities, like I mentioned with South Shore, there's also another one, Lago Vista, that have private beaches. Now they're not the beaches like California or Florida, but they have a little bit of white sand that enter into the lake. And I just think it's so special and creates something so different from the hustle and bustle of our city. Number five, lots of growth with the North Shore. If you take a moment to Google Lake Las Vegas, you'll see it had a huge downturn after 2008. As it was being developed, people were buying lots and building these gorgeous grand custom homes. 
There was two hotels and then also a casino, which unfortunately is still shut down. But there was tons going on and it had a big vision and a big dream. But after the crash of 2008, it really took a dive and it never really truly recovered. But now with so many people relocating here, we're seeing a huge expansion in Lake Las Vegas. For a long time, there was a lot of vacant lots that just kind of sat there. But with the new North Shore and big, huge national builders like Del Webb, Toll Brothers, and TriPoint, we also have Blue Heron doing more communities there as the expansion has grown and created a more modern vibe, which is pretty cool. But what happened is the south side of Lake Las Vegas started filling in, and then there was that huge area on the other side of Lake Las Vegas with the village separating it without a lot going on. It was just kind of dirt, no plans, no progress. But as this side has grown and there's so many people moving, they had room and growth and expansion to start building on the other side. What's super exciting about that is we're seeing a more modern home being built, whereas before the tradition was more a Mediterranean field, and it kind of felt like you were entering Italy when you came to Lake Las Vegas. It's really exciting, and when you drive through, you can see the big, grand homes being built on the other side. And there's a rumor going on that there's gonna be a bridge that connects the North Shore to the South Shore. That'll create even more of an experience. And like I mentioned before, Lake Las Vegas is golf cart permissible. So if you didn't have that bridge, it would be kind of a pain to get all the way over there, not being able to go that quickly. But with that bridge connecting it, it'll be a breeze. Number six, the village. The village is filled with restaurants, shops, a salon, and even a speakeasy. As Lake Las Vegas has grown in popularity, these shops and restaurants have grown as well. For a long time, you would go down to the village and it was kind of empty. There wasn't a lot happening there. But as more and more people started moving there, it created more popularity and more room for these restaurants to start opening up. What's really cool is the village also hosts concerts and summer activities. And actually during the summer, they do this really cool blow up slip and slide in the middle of the lake where kids can go down and have a good time. Overall, the village is growing and it's so much fun to hang out there. I personally love going down to Lake Las Vegas for the day, taking in the gorgeous lake views, having some lunch at the little Mexican restaurant, getting on a stand-up paddleboard and just sailing away. Before I move on to the last points, which are actually cons about Lake Las Vegas, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas. And I offer a concierge service to take the headaches out of moving to my favorite city in the world, Las Vegas. Now let's get on to the cons. Con number one, the high HOA fees. Every home in Lake Las Vegas is in a subdivision, but on top of that subdivision, you're gonna have the master plan association fee. Now this fee is what keeps that lake filled up. It's also what keeps all the greenery throughout Lake Las Vegas and keeps it thriving. Every home in Lake Las Vegas, even the condos, have an attached $200 a quarter to keep all of that thriving. So while it may be beautiful to enjoy the lake and all the lush greenery, it does come with a cost. It's something you need to consider if Lake Las Vegas is made your list of a place to move. Con number two, distance from the city. For a long time, there wasn't very much around Lake Las Vegas. It kind of was one of those places that you drove on a one-way highway and then you made a left and then you showed up to this gorgeous man-made lake with all these gorgeous custom homes and the village and just all the greenery. But as things have grown, there has become a demand for a grocery store and more gas stations and places to pick up your prescriptions. And right next door to Lake Las Vegas is Grand Master Planned Cadence, which hosts many different little subdivisions with schools and activities. So once that was being built, the demand for a real grocery store came to be. For a long time, the village had a grocery store called Seasons. And while this grocery store was convenient, it didn't have a lot of stuff and the prices are a little high there. So it was more of a convenient stop, not necessarily somewhere you would go and just buy your bulk amount of groceries. So as this demand has come, the new Smith's Marketplace has opened and it is huge. It's like department store huge. And right next to this Smith's is also a gas station and 
The last time I drove to Lake Las Vegas, which was last week, I saw more things being built around there. I've heard that a Starbucks is gonna be built there, as well as some little eateries, a dry cleaner, and more places to pick up your prescriptions and odds and ends. So, like I shared, that was a huge con at one time, but it's starting to become less and less of a con, and it's starting to become more convenient to live in Lake Las Vegas. What do you think about Lake Las Vegas so far? Would you move to Lake Las Vegas? Comment below and let me know. Con number three. Lake Las Vegas has higher than average median price ranges. Currently in Clark County of March of 2023, the median price range for a home is $420,000. That gets you about a three bedroom and a two bathroom home in Clark County, which is Las Vegas. Now Lake Las Vegas, like I shared, is a bit more expensive. The median price range for a three bedroom, two bathroom home in Lake Las Vegas is $687,000. So that's a huge jump. So all things considered, you have a higher HOA with that master plan that's attached to every single home and condo. And then house prices are a bit higher. So these are two things to consider if you're looking into Lake Las Vegas. Con number four, the drive to Lake Las Vegas. There is no direct freeway exit to Lake Las Vegas. There is only one direct highway to this gorgeous area and along the way are stoplights. If you're looking for an easy access because you're going to the Las Vegas Strip to your home in Lake Las Vegas, this may not be it. That drive alone is about 20 minutes. And let's say you're trying to get home during traffic hour and you're hitting every single red light along the way, that drive could turn from 20 to 30 minutes easily. To get to Lake Las Vegas, you take the 215 and you go all the way until it ends at Lake Mead. Then you get off of the freeway and go right onto that highway, which is a straight shot to Lake Las Vegas. Once you get off the freeway, you are driving through an older part of town, but this part of town has changed throughout the last year. The Henderson Silver Knights have built their practice facility over there. There are new restaurants opening up on Water Street, which is the old part of Henderson, but has really cool, unique shopping and experiences. So while I shared four cons to Lake Las Vegas, there are two I can't change the higher HOA fees, as well as the higher cost of living and what you get for your median price range. But the other things I shared have changed and are changing and are expected to change even more throughout the years. So overall, Lake Las Vegas is bringing in tons of people relocating to our area. I've taken many people to Lake Las Vegas who weren't so sure if it was for them. And I've sold quite a few homes in this area because it's truly breathtaking. It's an oasis in the desert and there's a lot of outdoor activities to do and things to do. And while before there wasn't a grocery store or an easy access gas station, all this has changed and has really created a home and somewhere people wanna create as their primary residence. Like I shared before, it was mostly second and third homes, but that has greatly changed. If you're thinking about moving to Las Vegas or Henderson, be sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.